Hello and welcome to another episode with the Autistic Angler. So recently, my friend Nathan has been reporting there's been some fish being caught in the river Wallington, the really uh, the redder, the river Wallington in Fairham he's caught a load of different species species he's caught some different species 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 some different kind of fish and he says there's some large trout in there as well. So hopefully I'm taking, well, I'm taking some ground bait and some bread and some, ma some worms that hopefully are still alive because I bought them for the trip to the Avon and they weren't here when we went up they arrived the next day so yep I don't know we'll see so I'll see you up there then So here we are then, people. There's a lot of colour in the water. And I think I've got a fish moving. It seems to be quite shallow. If you ask me, it looks perfect for um, float fishing. So we'll have a little go. I'm going to start off just by putting three of the discs of uh, bread on. Just like that. I've got my the three meter feeder rod, the old Shakespeare one, the one I haven't yet broken, because I shut the other one in the car door, which is typical me. Right. Right, without further ado, I'm going to have a look and see if I've got any worms left. So these dendro dendrobinas, I put them in a flower pot on the balcony. I have no idea if there's anything in here. Oh, that'll be yes. They look perfectly okay. Yep, that is well alive. Okay. Flower, flower pot on the balcony it might be turning into a um, a wormery.
There you go, just caught myself a nice little brownie. It's cool because I just saw a kingfisher fly along. It went all the way along there. Right, so I'm fishing right by the road now. I found a deeper hole, so let's hope I can catch something here. Okay. There's some big fish under there. What are they? They're probably um, carp, I think. Right, time for a change of technique. I've chucked out some ground bait. And they've all returned. And I'm gonna try ledgering. Four pieces of bread, right in the middle of all that. So, wish me luck. So, it's down amongst them. On reflection, I've decided they're not carp, they're sea trout. There's loads of them in there. Trouble is, I can't get them to take any bait. And they're right under the foliage. I don't know if you'll be able to see them. Yeah, you can. There's the tail of one in there, look. There's loads of them in there. They're all tucked in right up in that deep corner. So I've gone back to where I started. And I've chucked a float right up there where there's been some movement. And it's it, it's got a worm on. Because that's what I caught that trout on. Right, I've got the float right down there where the fish were. There it is, just coming out. It's just showing it. Fish are under there, so don't know why they're not taking it. It's got a lovely worm on it. I'll leave it there and see what happens. There's some lovely big fish down there. They're all swimming around, but they don't seem to be interested. I wonder if um, they don't like bread and dental bean or worms. But the brown trout do. Well, there's a lot more water in here. And I, I was up there somewhere. Right up in those trees. Yeah, it's a bit late for me to set up here now but uh, we're right down near where it goes uh, tidal properly and that's just the other side of that big roundabout down there the downby roundabout so end to a disappointing day but hey I, at least I caught a fish so for now that's me done